Now we're looking ahead to uh, 2018 to uh, predict what's going to happen and also how we can uh, try and fight back. But we can't look at 2018 without reflecting on 2017, which uh, a lot of us on, on the right uh, believe was a big uh, setback for us. Um, now we've done a, a 2017 review show, but uh, we need to look at uh, why you know, the, the left was able to, uh, you know, uh, particularly in Australia, march through our institutions and set the political agenda. Yeah, absolutely. Look, I think the, the biggest reason uh, we had the setbacks as we had is because what was revealed uh, to the public at large was um, that we really had no sort of conservative representation of any note in in uh, 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 parties, you know, the Lib Nats that we sort of always uh, uh, stood as a kind of a bulwark against the insanity of the left have uh, basically been half taken over by the left and the performance of the Prime Minister in particular uh, being uh, an accommodation for the Labor Party and pretty much implementing a lot of their policies has been one of the biggest things that has taken the uh, Conservative constituency by surprise. And... Uh, yeah, there was basically no ball ball. There was no protection on the left. So when they unleashed their latest onslaught, uh, not only was there nothing to stop them, uh, they were basically helped uh, by the parties we used to trust to actually have some sort of sanity in our parliament. Uh, and uh, it's not just the the politicians in my mind, because the the politicians they they still take their cues from uh, the media and the the cultural elite rather than the actual uh, voters. So if the the media and you know the academics say for you to uh, do something, and you know they have the biggest megaphone, then th that's who they're going to listen to. I certainly agree that uh, under Malcolm Turnbull's leadership, they're they're more uh, susceptible to that. But uh, also um, during Tony Abbott's time as Prime Minister, he tended to uh, try and uh, please the uh, unpleasable, if, if I may put it that way. And it's, and it's basically the, um, no, the, the ordinary people, they're still uh, you know, without, a, without a voice because the, the media can just whip up uh, this you know, frenzy saying, you know, look how, you know, look at this you know, in, injustice. Uh, you know, why doesn't the government uh, do something about this? Yeah, oh, you're absolutely right there, Tim. Um, and they, they have infiltrated their tentacles sort of into so many different areas of life. And, but yeah, it does come back down to, you know, whatever they can get into law, uh, whatever they can pressure to happen. And that's where you need a strong sort of uh, political leadership that can stop that sort of thing. But you're right, there is a, definitely a cultural current that's been worked on for decades and is, we're seeing the fruits of that now uh, manifesting itself into all sorts of other areas of life. Uh, you know, ac uh, the academies, the universities, the entertainment sort of, and the journalistic sort of spheres of life have been working towards that sort of goal for quite a while. And now we're actually starting to see it come to fruition, not just in the fantasy world of their textbooks or their entertainment, but it's now starting to be implemented in the real world. Because even though, uh, you know, as, as they're called the silent majority, they get a vote every three or four years, that's only, you know, part of, you know, uh, what gov government does. I mean, uh, yes, uh, you know, during election campaigns, uh, governments, you know, promise to, to do things that they think the voters want. But, you know, during the, the three, three years of government, they're, they're, they're not listening to, uh, to the people. They're, they're, they're taking their cues for, from elsewhere. And I, I think that a lot of people, if, you know, they vote in a, you know, conservative uh, government, they have a false sense of security that, you know, uh, uh, I trust them to 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 do what they promised. I, I use the example again of um, you know Tony Abbott's uh, prime ministership. For example, he promised to reform eighteen uh, C, which uh, which didn't happen. Yeah, no, absolutely right, Tim. Yeah, absolutely right. Spot on. And so I really think that uh, it's 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 the. The people who you know are passionate about you know these uh, you know c uh, conservative issues about uh, you know stopping the the cultural Marxist in our um, you know schools uh, and institutions. It's uh, I, I think I think that uh, 
they need to realize that simply voting is not enough. They need to ma make noise, you know, uh, let the, the, the politicians know that it's them they should be scared of, not these, you know, leftist campaigners who, you know, ring their office and organize the protests. Definitely. And uh, that's something that uh, we have got to start doing uh, over the next few years. We've got to start working at playing that game where we are constantly putting pressure on political parties in between election times uh, to make sure, you know, they're staying in the real world. And, and uh, you know, they're the only voice, make sure the voices they're hearing isn't just the voices of the left, uh, but they're hearing our voices as well. And we've got to start making, because you can't leave it up to the other side of politics anymore. Uh, because they're basically becoming one and the same sort of ideology. So we've got to start taking action in that regard, which means we've got to be constantly vigilant. We've got to be constantly active. You know, we can't just fire up an election time. We've got to make sure that we're in there the whole time. Let's look at what the left have planned for 2018, because obviously uh, in 2017 they got... This has been an unshackled fast. Please like, comment and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.